I'm Anoop. I run a design studio called Inner Smile. And we work in branding and wall graphics since 2003. But today, in this presentation, I'm gonna be talking to you about wall graphics. There's lots of design studios out there. So what makes Inner Smile different? So a few years back, I had to think and um, to redefine my offering. But how do I do that with so many great design studios? So being passionate, creative and innovative, but all design studios say this. So I was thinking, how am I gonna stand out? So it was time to dig deep and ask myself, when did I fall in love with design? I hark back to the age I was 12, when I designed this um, cassette cover all by hand on a Sunday drizzly afternoon. Well, it might have been Sunday, I don't know, anyways. But it was 1985. And at this time, I didn't know what this was. Was it art or was it just drawn on letters? But anyways, this is the moment that ignited my love affair. So then I realized I'm actually obsessed with design and fascinated by human behavior. Then I had that moment, that aha moment, the realization kicked in for me. I'm passionate about making an emotional connection with people by reaching their inner smile. So every project starts like this with drawings, pen and paper, black and white. We try and get those ideas, those ideas that kind of don't work out early. So we're not wasting any time. But then these ideas are so critically important um, to being able to work out which pathways we're gonna take. And here you go, it's implemented on walls. And I'd like to put positive messages on <clears throat> workplaces um, just to provide an uplifting mood. So we visit sites, we actually build as well. So it's not just about putting flat graphics on the wall, we could do 3D lettering as well. We visualize to show you exactly what your workspace will be looking like. We install. So I'm on a mission to make boring walls into loved ones. So on the left, that's an unloved wall. On the right, it's a loved wall. So even spaces where this was a school bunker uh, in, a, in a high footfall area within this college. <clears throat> and on the right hand side, it's now a powerful graphic which students see every single day. Loved wall, unloved wall and uh, a loved wall. So this is a, a meeting space. I'm conscious about time, so I'm gonna flip through these. Again, an unloved wall and loved wall makes it more powerful and engaging. And it's not just about graphics on the wall, it's about how that wall can, can look. Here we've put wood cladding on the wall. And space design, this is on the left-hand side, it was a dull and boring space. On the right-hand side, we created a box for Puma with actual Puma trainers hanging down from it and upcycled the furniture. We love installations. These are 3D installations. And music venues we've done. This is a canteen with a timeline. <clears throat> this is for um, a global uh, pharmaceutical company. A meeting room. Manifestations on the wall. On windows, sorry. Whoa. Windows. Reception rooms. I don't have to be boring uplifting and subconscious people are intaking information. We also designed for print. This is an impact report we did for Amnesty UK. We designed for packaging. We designed for digital. And we designed for presentations. So together, I'm hoping we can create immersed wall graphics that are memorable and meaningful and reaching people's inner smile. So my question is, do you have unloved walls? And if you have unloved walls, I would love to be able to have a call with you and make them loved walls.